And CBS This Morning co-host Gail King is with us now to talk Stayed about the Grammys. Stayed up late with bags in my head. We all did. Looking good, looking we all good. Did. I like the show, though. <laughs> it I, was amazing. I do think it's too long, but I love the musical performances. So uh, we got to talk uh, Taylor. We, You and I were talking about Taylor oh, last week. We don't week. want to talk about our predictions? We, we are going to talk about our predictions. Okay. We're going to get yeah. to our predictions, but okay, Taylor um, becomes the yes. uh, first woman to win yes. Album of the Year twice, and she had this inspiring message for young women I all over it. the world. Yeah. And through a little shade. Yeah. At she easy. took a not so, diddle, <laughs> not, not so subtle dig. But I thought even then she did that in a nice way. Mm -hmm. Just to say when people try to take you, to claim your fame, people try to put you down, you have to persevere. I really hope now that both of them will just stop. If I was her, I would never address it anymore. Mm -hmm. I've said all I have to say, but she never asked me for advice. <laughs> and you have to wonder what is what what Kanye's next move is going to be. He, he, Twitter. I'm sure, he, I'm sure he will respond. You. I need you to pull your CTM strings and get a one on one with him because yes. I need to yes. understand. Because as Vlad knows, I've stood right here and defended, defended him. some of his wayward tweets. And now, do I don't we know think what to that say. maybe he was just trying to be provocative? Maybe he was just trying to stir the pot that he doesn't really mean that? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. And, and there's also, it becomes weird and, cre you know, he's got this obsession with her where he keeps interrupting her, where he keeps tweeting at her. Um, and and, and I think she took this opportunity to say, you know what, enough is enough. Yeah. And he also said this. He said just because he used a B word, he said that's like a term of endearment. Yes. Yeah, I don't know any don't woman know. who, who yeah, thinks of that. Yeah. And, yeah. No, yeah. Thing. My mother just didn't. call me dear. <laughs> yes. yes, yes. Call me gay. Darling. Call me dar <laughs> darling. <laughs> Darling's really nice. Yes. Lovely. <laughs> um, so listen, so. let's talk about the performances yes. though, because yes. there were some mm. amazing performances. Yes. Give me yes. your this highlights. What, what did you like the best? You know what I really liked, and nobody is really talking about this. Carrie Underwood and Sam Hunt. Yeah. Yeah, that was great. Mm. You felt, introduced me I, to Sam Hunt. Uh, did yeah, you like Yeah, you, you were like I getting on that, that I felt heat between the two. She's married, so I don't think there's anything <laughs> awry there. But there was just something about the performance between the two of them, the way they were looking each other dead in the eye. Yeah. Kendrick Lamar, I thought, knocked it out of the park. Knocked I think a lot of people uh, may not have known who he was in the Grammy audience. I, and music people know, but I think a lot of people didn't know his... His words, he's so powerful, he was so good. That was clearly a knockout for me. Yeah. Both of those, both of those. What did, so, and Little Big say. Town, too. I met the Little Big Town people at uh, Lionel Richie's Music Care event, and I love that song too much. I was like a puppy. I, I love you <laughs> So it was good to see them. Uh, I, I was going to ask about Lady Gaga. I yeah, I, that, that for me, I mean, I mean, yeah, Bowie. Yeah. I love Bowie. And when she first appeared and she morphed, into Ziggy Stardust, and then she morphed into all the de different incarnations of Bowie. I thought it was fantastic. But you know what surprised me about that? I don't know why I thought she was just going to stand there and sing. Oh, no. I, oh, I, no. I, I know. When I looked at it, I go, Gail, what are you thinking? But the way that she changed all the different outfits and all the different yes. looks, I thought that was genius, too. That was definitely a highlight. And she was good. Yeah, yeah. she was amazing. I, I love her. I love so her, too. So the only time I think most of America, including me, got to see any bit of Hamilton was when they performed oh, on was stage. Good too. Wasn't that I awesome? Yeah. Yes, that was good too. And the cast was so excited when Lynn Manuel Miranda, when he sort of wrapped his acceptance speech, but baby Sebastian, daddy's coming home with a Grammy. That was, <laughs> that was nice. Yeah. That's the thing. All the performances I thought were really knockout. Justin Bieber, I did not know that Justin Bieber has never won a Grammy Me before. Me neither, yeah. I, know, yeah. I like Justin Bieber. I went yeah. to see the documentary back in the day, and that's when I became smitten with him. Believer. When I saw. Yes. <laughs> when you see that he's he's this little kid, but he worked really hard. I like his music, his album, this Purpose album. Mm -hmm. Every single song on that is great. But Gail, before we get to our predictions, um, I, you know, Kevin pointed out that the family of Natalie Cole is upset. There were tributes yeah. to B.B. Yeah. King. Uh, there were tributes to Glenn Fry. There was a tribute to Motorhead, Lenny, Lemmy from Motorhead. To but, Maurice White. Yeah, to Maurice White. But they, they were expecting a little something more. She's been nominated 21 times for a Grammy. Has she been? I didn't yeah. know she had been nominated and that so many times. So they're not happy. I know you can't get to everybody, but I, I did feel that that was an omission. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I did feel, and listen, Maurice White was added at the last minute. Right. Only because people started complaining, mm -hmm. because he wasn't even originally on the, on the program. So I could understand why they're upset and hurt. They're yeah. probably more hurt than angry mm -hmm. yeah. because yeah. of her contribution to the music. And certainly the duet with her dad was, 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 was legendary. It warranted a little mention, a little something. more than just in the montage, I thought. All right, so our predictions. Yes, I wrote them we down. Do, we did okay. Um, we, really? we got Best New Artist. We both said Megan Trainer. Oh, she won. Yeah. Now, didn't we like her acceptance? Yes. yes. No, yes we she's thought we were great. So her mom 
That was but fantastic. I love what she tweeted. She said that right before she went up, remember her dad hugged her? Yeah. And her, she said her dad said, you've made it. Isn't that <laughs> nice? That's thing? awesome. Mm -hmm. Emory, that's that your so dad awesome. is saying you made it. Yeah. You get to go and accept and your dad's there. So, okay, we call that one. So right. we call what that else? one. We got um, Girl Crush, Best Country Song. We both okay, nailed good, that one. Okay. Um, where we split, I picked uh, Best Rap Album, Kendrick Lamar, and you told Who me. I picked? You said, I'm never going to go against Dreezy. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> Dreezy. I, I did say <laughs> Drake, that. Drake, you love Drake. So we split there. Um, we Uptown Funk, we both got. Yeah, good. Record okay, of the so year, Uptown Funk. Okay, so far I'm liking our predictions. Yeah. What um, else? We both got blown out of the song of the year. We were thinking, I was thinking Kendrick Lamar, you were thinking Taylor, Taylor Swift. Swift, it was Ed Sheeran. Now, that was a surprise, even though that's a great song. This is what I like about what happened with the Grammys this year. There was a little something for everybody. You know, so many times it's just a, it's a run the table, as they say, where one person wins everything. I, it, I wasn't mad that Ed Sheeran won that because I like that song. Yeah. What about you? I, I, I think I it's a good song. Was I was Taylor. surprised, and we had Joe Levy, a, a contributing editor from Rolling Stone. He predicted a guarantee that it wouldn't be Ed Sheeran, and ah, it turned yeah. out to be. Okay, good. Um, and then the other one, you picked uh, uh, Sam Hunt for Best Country Album, and I had Chris Stapleton. Um, and, and so you're saying, and, yes, you and won. Chris Stapleton won. <laughs> <laughs> okay, show off. <laughs> and you had D'Angelo for Best R&B Album. I mm. introduced you to Jasmine Sullivan, who did not win, no, but D'Angelo won. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it was fun. Okay. Yeah, we, we I thought it was pretty good. Fun. Same time next year. Mr. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Same time next year. I know. I love um, the music. It's fun to watch. It is great. It's and fun the Grammys to watch. are wonderful. And it was great that it was on a Monday. Um, no, one, I don't like that. You Take didn't that like back. it on a no. Monday? <laughs> it was a holiday Monday. That's yeah. kind of a Sunday. Yeah, Bank sort of. holiday. Oh, I, it was <laughs> Valentine's Day. I hope it goes Day. back to Sunday. Well, that's okay. why they moved it because yeah. of Valentine's right, Day. Yeah.